g'day. I've got a plan. There's been a flock of sulphur crested cockatoos in the neighbourhood. They're a beautiful big white parrot with a yellow crest. I've got these stump caps. They normally go on the top of your stumps and I've decided these are going to be perfect because they're nice and silver and shiny and they're a good size as you can see they're pretty big. So I thought that'd be a really good visual sign for the cockatoos. When they're flying in the air they'll be able to see that. So what I'm going to do, just some cheap bird seed. That's got corn, wheat, milo, sunflower seeds. Nice mix there, they should really like that if they get it. So this is the back of our house yard, the back fence from the other side. The plan is that eventually I want to be able to have trays up here and they feed on the back fence. But to get them there, I'm going to have to start coaxing them from over this pile there if they come to it. The cockatoos, sorry I'm so excited. The cockatoos didn't come yesterday afternoon but they've come this morning. It's only about 6am in the morning. It's really early in the morning. And I've had a look out the window and saw them all over at the dirt pile eating the seed and stuff that I put out. So all the cockatoos are over there. I'm going to take you now and have a look. They got a really noisy call, the white cockatoos. It's like a screechy squawk. Get a few of them together and they make a heap of noise. That is just so good to see them all together like that in the wild. Excellent. Really, really good.
How good was that? Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for with those bird feeders out there. That's great. Now, hopefully they keep coming back there and I'll try and slowly move the bird feeders closer to the fence and our yard. And before too long, if all goes well, I'll have those beautiful sulphur-crested cockatoos feeding in our backyard. That is just awesome. Remember everyone, take time for the simple joys. Bye.